Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we are going to see the pH microclimate in drug absorption. Now, let us see the contents of this topic. First, we will see what is pH microclimate. Then we can see how does pH microclimate affect drug absorption. And next, we will see the evidence for pH microclimates in the intestine. And finally the summary. At first, we can see the definition of pH microclimate. Definition pH microclimate refers to a localized area with a different pH compared to the surrounding environment. Where it is found. pH microclimates are found on the surface of cells in the intestine. Moving on to the next slide. Now, at first, we can see the factors that create and maintain pH microclimates. There are mainly three factors they are mucus layer, cellular metabolism, and specific secretions. Mucus layer. The mucus layer acts as a pH buffer, preventing the overall intestinal pH from affecting the microclimate pH. Cellular metabolism. Cellular metabolism helps to maintain the acidic pH microclimate. Specific secretions. Certain secretions, such as bicarbonate, can also contribute to the formation and maintenance of pH microclimates. Moving on to the next slide. How does pH microclimate affect drug absorption? Under this heading, there are three subparts. They are pH partition hypothesis, deviations from the pH partition hypothesis, the role of pH microclimate in drug absorption. First, let us look what is pH partition hypothesis. The pH partition hypothesis states that the rate of absorption of a drug from the intestine depends on the pH of the intestine and the pKa of the drug. The pKa is a measure of how acidic or basic a drug is. Weak acids are more likely to be absorbed in a basic environment, while weak bases are more likely to be absorbed in an acidic environment. This is because the non-ionized form of a drug is more lipid-soluble than the ionized form. Lipid-soluble drugs can more easily pass through the cell membranes of the intestine and into the bloodstream. Now, we are done with the hypothesis and now we can see deviations from the pH partition hypothesis. Studies have shown that the pH partition hypothesis does not always apply. For example, some weak acids are absorbed more slowly in a basic environment than expected. Similarly, some weak bases are absorbed more slowly in an acidic environment than expected. One potential explanation for these deviations is the presence of an acid pH microclimate. This refers to a localized area of lower pH found on the surface of cells in the intestine. This microclimate seems to influence drug absorption behavior. Researchers found that the pH within this microclimate is different from the overall pH of the intestinal contents, bulk pH. Now, let us see the role of pH microclimate in drug absorption. pH microclimates can affect drug absorption by changing the ionization state of drugs. Drugs that are more ionized are less lipid soluble and less easily absorbed. pH microclimates can also affect the activity of transporters that are involved in drug absorption. Moving on to the next topic. Evidence for pH microclimate in the intestine. In evidence for pH microclimates in the intestine, we have three subheadings. They are as follows. Studies in rats and humans. Variation in pH microclimate along different sections of the intestine. And the role of mucus layer and cellular metabolism in maintaining pH microclimate. Now, let us move to the next slide. First is the studies in rats and humans. Studies in rats and humans have shown that pH microclimates exist in the intestine. The pH microclimates can vary along different sections of the intestine. For example, in rats, the pH microclimates in the duodenum is more acidic than the pH microclimates in the ileum. Show and colleagues measured the microclimate pH 
pHm, in the rat intestine, and found that it was around, 5.2, to, 6.7, even when the overall intestinal pH, pHb, was maintained at 7.2. This means that the microclimate pH, is more acidic, than the overall intestinal pH. The mucus layer covering the intestine, seems to play a role in creating this acidic microclimate. When the mucus layer was washed off, the microclimate pH increased to 7.2. This suggests that the mucus layer acts as a pH buffer, preventing the overall intestinal pH, from affecting the microclimate pH. Now, let us continue with the next slide. The researchers also found that, the overall intestinal pH, pHb, values as low as 3, and, as high as 10, didn't significantly affect the microclimate pH, pHm. This suggests that the mucus layer, is very effective at maintaining the microclimate pH, within a certain range. Further research by Said and his team, found that microclimate pH, pHm, values varied, along different sections, of the rat intestine. As the bulk pH, pHb, was kept constant, at 7.4, the microclimate pH at different sections of intestine was observed as follows, proximal, to distal duodenum, was between, 6.4 to 6.3, proximal, to distal jejunum, 6.0 to 6.4, proximal, to distal ileum, was 6.6 to 6.9, and, 6.9 in the colon. Moving to the next slide. The presence of glucose, or sodium, in the solutions, helped maintain the microclimate's acidic pH. Metabolic inhibitors, such as, 1 mmol iodoacetate, or 2, 4, adenitrophenol, caused the pH of the microclimate to rise. Said it all hypothesized that a sodium plus a hydrogen plus antiporter mechanism, dependent on cellular mechanism, was responsible for the acid pH microclimate, suggesting that, cellular metabolism, plays a role in maintaining this microclimate. Now, let us see the pH microclimate, in the human intestine. In human intestines, similar pH microclimates were observed, with different pHm values, at the tips of villi, finger-like projections, and, in the crypt regions, indentations. The villi, had the lowest microclimate pH values, and, the crypt region, have the microclimate pH greater than, 8. Interestingly, even in the human stomach, where the overall pH, is quite low, an alkaline microclimate, was found. This was attributed to the secretion of bicarbonate, HCO3, by the cells, in the stomach, and, duodenum. Moving on to the next topic. Variation in pH microclimate, along different sections, of the intestine. The pH microclimates can also vary, depending on the presence of food, and, other substances, in the intestine. For example, the presence of glucose, or sodium, in the intestine can help to maintain, the acidic pH microclimates. The other one is. The role of mucus layer, and cellular metabolism, in maintaining pH microclimate. The mucus layer, and cellular metabolism, both play a role in maintaining the acidic pH microclimates. The mucus layer acts as a pH buffer, preventing the overall intestinal pH from affecting the microclimate pH. Cellular metabolism helps to generate protons, which contribute to the acidic pH microclimates. Importance of pH microclimate, in drug development. Understanding the role of pH microclimate, in drug absorption, is important for drug development. By understanding how pH microclimate affects drug absorption, scientists can design drugs, that are more effectively absorbed. At last, let us see the, summary of this whole topic. pH microclimates, are localized areas, with a different pH, compared to the surrounding, environment. pH microclimates, are found, on the surface of cells, in the intestine. pH microclimates, can affect drug absorption, by changing the ionization state of drugs, and, affecting the activity, of transporters. pH microclimates, can vary along different sections of the intestine, and, depending on the presence of food, and, other substances, in the intestine. Now, now, let us see the, reference. Absorption and drug development, solubility, permeability, and charge state, second edition. Chapter 2. Transport model. Book authors, Alex Avdeef. First published, the 7th of May, 2012. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.